Hey everyone, it's Julia, and in this video, you will learn how to add different headers and footers for visitors and users using the JetTheme Core plugin. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider doing that and also do not forget to hit the notification bell. A couple of words before we begin. Usually, to set the header or footer visibility, you would need to install the Jet Engine plugin, activate the Dynamic Visibility module, and hide the whole section. Now, when the Jet Theme Core plugin is updated, you can do that in a couple of clicks even without Dynamic Visibility. So, it's a perfect option for those who don't use the Jet Engine plugin. Jet Theme Core allows creating page templates assigning header, body, and footer, and setting the conditions for them according to your needs just in a blink of an eye. Now let's check what's needed for this tutorial. JetTheme Core plugin installed and activated, and also pre-made header and footer templates. However, I will show you how to create a new one from scratch. To build a page template, proceed to WordPress dashboard, Procoblock, Theme Builder. Click the Create a New Page Template button. There will be a new pop-up window where you can set one or multiple conditions according to which the given template will be either shown on specific pages or not. The next step is to define whether you want to include or exclude items. I will set it to Include. However, you are free to choose the Exclude option if needed. Then, in the second list, choose the Advanced option as it refers to the additional conditions including WordPress users. Now you need to pick roles in the following selector and then choose whether it's gonna be an editor, author, subscriber or guest. For this template, I will choose Guest. Moreover, you're free to add more roles here and also delete them if needed. And by the way, if you no longer need this template to have a specific condition, simply click on this trash icon button. Hit Create and you will see a new page template in the JetTheme Core dashboard. Give it a name right here and now we can start adding the header and footer. Once you click on, for example, Add Header, you can either create a new one by clicking on the Create Template button or choose an existing header from the library. I'm gonna create a new one specifically for this template. By the way, you can build a header both in Elementor and Gutenberg Block Editor. So, I will enter the name for this header, for example, Header for Guest. Now, in the Elementor editor, if you are doing this from scratch, you can add any elements you need. Firstly, this header will have a logo. The middle column will contain a menu that I created specifically for guests. And the last element here will be a button that says Register. Don't forget to style everything and once you're done, just update the template and go back to the JetTheme Core dashboard. So the header is already attached to this page template. Now let's do the same thing with the footer. I'm gonna create a new one. Then I will give it a name and proceed to the Elementor editor. Guys, I will speed up this part a bit as I'm sure you all know how to build a footer. Ok, it's done, and as you can see the footer is already assigned to the template. 
I will create a new page template and this time it will be for the subscribers. For this one, I will select the header and footer I already have on my website. By the way, to change the roles and add more conditions, you can simply click on these three dots and select Edit Conditions. So we created two page templates and assigned different headers and footers to them. Let's see how it looks on the front end. This is what guests will see on the website. There is the first header that I created from scratch and the footer as well. Now let's see how it's gonna look for subscribers. Both header and footer have a bit different design. Basically, to make the changes noticeable, I selected different color schemes and added some additional elements. This was a very simple example, however, the key point was to show you the main approach so we could apply it on your website. By the way, in the same way, you can create responsive page templates and add the responsive conditions with the help of the Jet Theme Core plugin. This will be the topic of one of our future videos, so stay tuned! Guys, this is it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and it was useful for you. We all at Crocoblock are still doing our best for you to have the services you are used to even despite the situation in our country. So please share your support and compassion on social media, keep spreading the information about this war and also donate to the Ukrainian army and official organizations supporting Ukrainian refugees. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.